Okay, so a few people have um, contacted me to point out that they're having a little bit of trouble with this last problem on homework set five. Um, it is a little bit unusual in that this is not asking you for algebraic calculation. It's asking you to basically play around and look at things from more of a visual point of view. Um, and the idea here is to try and remind you of a few things that are going on when you solve a system of equations. Um, one is, remember that if you have this matrix equation, A times the vector X is equal to the vector B. Um, if we split A into the columns, A1, A2, A3, then this product A times X is a linear combination of the columns. We've, uh, we've discussed that. And so what you're trying to do when you're solving this system is essentially find the values for these scalars, X1, X2, and X3, that makes the linear combination on the left equal to the vector on the right. Now, it's a little bit tricky because you're working in three dimensions. And every time you change the values of the scalars, the problem is going to reset the perspective on you. Uh, but here's the, here's the image. Now, you can always choose to work just from this one perspective. But just to point out that you can change this point of view, right? you can look at this from different angles. So the idea here is that this is the vector b right there. Here is the vector a1 a2 and a3 except right now um, this is actually minus 2 times a1 minus 2 times a2 minus 2 times a3 right um, and these sliders up here are just those values so we can change the value for a1 like so and now you see that the vectors have been redrawn right there we are so we look at this and we might say okay a1 is looking all right not so sure about a2 but A3 is definitely in the wrong direction. So I better take X3 and move this to a positive value. So maybe I go to like 4 over 5. OK, and now we can see that things have moved around. Um, but if you change perspective, you can see that actually we're not as close as it looked. Um, it looks like maybe A2 needs a positive value as well. So we'll bring that over. We'll try something there, and we see where we're at. Okay, and now we can see that, well, we're, we're heading in the right direction. Not there yet. Looks like I need A2 and A3. I need those values to be larger. So we try to make them a big bit bigger, maybe 6 over 5. And we see that we're getting a little bit closer. Okay, um, and you basically just play around like this. Um, there are some hints at the bottom. These hints might not appear until you try it once. You might have to submit a wrong answer first. Um, First hint says, ah, try choosing a value for the first coefficient somewhere between minus 1.2 and minus 0 0.85. Okay, so let's see. Um, I'm kind of in that range now. There we go. Let's try minus 1. That's somewhere in between. Okay. That's looking good. Actually, you can see we're pretty, we're pretty close. Right? It looks like I need to make A3. A little bit longer and maybe a2 a little bit shorter so I'm gonna make this one bigger I'm gonna make this one smaller and ah look they join up right so once you get them to actually join up like that then you got it set and you go down and you submit answers and it'll tell you that you're right